Hello all, we are here for one more lesson of this Varica 2016 training course. And the topic for this lesson is interference between solids. I've done a little uh, assembly with three solids. Uh, you can see this blue one and the red and the red one, and you see that they are intersecting each other. And I've done one smaller solid um, that you can see here. Uh, it is inside the red one, completely inside. And this is to show you uh, all the situations that can happen in this interference that we are going to see. So we need to go to this objects menu and then we have this entry called interference. We have all these functions here, but basically when you have a set of solids or assembly, whatever you, you, you have in your screen, you can run this command here that says all interferences and the program will calculate all the, all the interference that are um, inside the solids among the 3D environment. Um, and as you can see, uh, the program calculates and highlights these um, magenta lines that shows where are interference. So when you run the calculation, you get this smaller dialog box where you can um, see a couple of more options. Okay, And you have here the highlight all references. Okay, all in, in, in interferences, sorry. Um, we can um, rotate the center to one interference, like for example this one, and now you are rotating for these, or you can do the opposite, okay, because we have only two here. Um, then we can highlight solids in interference, okay. This interference, okay. These are the highlighted solids. We have this function that is not the available because it did not find two identical solids, but we, we, we will uh, make a new one and correct this. Uh, we have this particular option also, which is highlight solids engulfing smaller ones, and that is uh, why I've done the smaller cube inside the red one. And here it is to finish the display of this. Let me make uh, a new solid. Um, and I will do it identical to one of these. Uh, so basically I will choose another point and put it really on top of the red one. And now let me run again the interference, all interferences, and you see now this function that says highlight identical solids. You see we have two identical ones, one on top of the other. Besides these options, we have the possibility to interference without the selected. Okay, these are particular options of these all interferences. Um, we have the possibility to select, to do the selection versus the remaining solids. Let me open, for example, this sample 4. Uh, let me take this out. Okay, I had also some cubes prepared here. Uh, if I run, for example, this interference here, uh, interference without selected, then I can choose some solids. They were, they will be taken out, and you see the interferences are shown here. Okay. Um, we have options also to create groups um, and say interference between groups. I don't have uh, groups defined by 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 myself here, so you understand what is a group. You can see the interference between two groups. Uh, we have this possibility, interference within the selected, with ba which basically it is, okay, I select this, please find and nothing appears. Is everything okay there? And uh, finally, we can repeat the interference check 
and display the previously calculated interferences. But I think uh, basically uh, with this function here, the all interference, you will have all the possibilities. These are sub uh, options of the main one. Uh, as you understand, this is very useful because especially when you are doing these assemblies, it's easy to put solids in place and to forget that something is colliding with another solid or other kinds of entities here. And this is useful and uh, in fact, I think you should run this command to somehow validate your assembly.